All right, guys. So let's talk about what tone in expository writing looks like. So we've looked at tone in lots of small examples, but now we're going to take it into a larger example and really dig into how the author is creating tone as well. So here is your passage. Now these first ones, I've done the whole example for you, and then you're going to have one that you're going to go through yourself. So this is, um, so we're going to read the passage. So it says, anyway, why go into the desert? Really, why do it? the sun roaring at you all day long, the fetid, tep fetid, tepid, vapid little water holes slowly evaporating under a scum of grease, full of cannibal beetles, spotted toads, horsehair worms, liver flukes, and down at the bottom inevitably the pale cadaver of a 10-inch centipede. Those pink rattlesnakes down in the canyon, those diamondback monsters thick as a truck driver's wrist that lurk in shady places along the trail, those unpleasant sulpogigs and unnecessary Jerusalem crickets that scurry in dirt on dirty claws across your face at night. Why? The rain that comes down like lead shot and wrecks the trail, those sudden rock falls of obscure origin that crash like thunder 10 feet behind you in the heart of a dead still afternoon. The ubiquitous buzzard, so patient, but only so patient. The scorpion in your shoe at dawn, the hawk sailing by at 200 feet, a squirming snake in its talons. Why the desert when you could be strolling along the golden beaches of California? All right, so beside the fact that since I grew up in the desert, I am extremely offended by this writing. But the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the word choice. So we want to zoom in on words that have connotation. Now, if we remember, connotation means a strong word, a word that has a lot of feeling behind it, whether that feeling is positive or negative. So I've gone through and I've highlighted those words blue. So roaring, Fetid, tepid, vapid, scum of grease, cannibal, cadaver, monsters, all these words that have a lot of feeling behind them. So that was my first thing. First, I need to figure out what the word, the words that are strong. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to figure out, all right, do these words feel more positive, negative, or neutral? Now, in this case, these are very, very negative words. Warring, fetid, tepid, vapid, scum, grease, cannibal, cadaver, monster, unnecessary, lurk, scurry, dirty claws, lead shot, uh, dead still, crash, thunder, buzzard, obscure, squirming, talons. None of these words have a good feeling behind them, so they're all negative. Now remember, it's not necessarily what it means. A word has two parts to it. It has the denotation, the definition, what it means, but then it also has how it feels. And what we're looking at here is how the word feels, and these words feel negative. So I've got that over here. I've got that the words are negative. The next thing I want to do is go for my tone word list. So you're going to click on the link and that's going to open up your tone word list. You're going to pick the word that you think best represents the passage. Now in this case, because he's just tearing the desert apart, just going through it, listing all the things that are horrible about it, I thought that scathing was the best tone. Now remember, it's not how it's how the author feels about the subject. And in this case, he hates the desert. And I can tell that from this word choice. So I've got scathing there. All right. And then finally, just looking at perspective. So what's his perspective on the desert? So here I have which statement below best relays the author's perspective in the great American desert. Um, Abby thinks the desert as a misunderstood place of toxic beauty. Absolutely not. He doesn't think anything is beautiful about this place. Abby believes that the de deadly animals within the great deserts of America are unlike the, uh, the animals in any other parts of the country. No, he's not really comparing them to anything. Abby argues that many dangerous features of the desert make it a bad place to visit. Yes, especially with this last line when you could be roll strolling on the golden beaches of California. All right, so that's going to be our clear winner. And I can't read that bottom one because I'm right there, but it's wrong anyway. All right, so what are you guys going to do? You're going to do the same thing. So you have a whole new passage to read. You're going to go through, read it. The first thing you're going to do after you've read it is you're going to highlight the words that have a strong connotation and then tell me whether or not the words feel more positive, negative, or neutral. Then you're going to go through the tone word list. So you're going to click on the tone word list and tell me what tone word you feel like is best represented here in the passage. And then finally, you're going to tell me what you think the author's perspective is on this story, which is called The Courage of Turtles. All right, let me know if you have any questions while you're working on station two.